thought among some people that got the same thing on your mind that I have on my mind, and that is we come to lift that up. We come to bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I hope you're excited as I am. I am excited about what I see our Lord and our Savior is doing. Amen. And I'm telling you, saints, I, 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 I see some things that God is doing for us, and I just certainly I thank you and praise God for it. And uh, the, the song that said, it's the Lord doing what I'm looking at, and it's marvelous in my eyes. It's marvelous what God is doing. Yes, I, I, yes. I hope that for the one that are with us online, God bless you. We certainly thank you for being a part of our community and worshiping with us. I hope that during the time that you're here and you're online with us, that God will say something that will inspire you, something that will encourage you, something that will comfort you during these particular times. God is going to be with you and he's going to bless you even as you be with us and go with us as we get ready to bless the Lord and to worship God on today. If you will stand with us, we're going to go before God in prayer and then we're going to have a song and then we'll, we'll go from here. It's my day is going to come to that peace song should have a little for us to sing at that particular point. Heavenly Father, we love you today. Lord, we honor your name today. We just thank you for being a good God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you a glory and we give you honor. We give you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. We extol your name. Lord, we lift you up. Hallelujah. We just thank you for being God. Thank you for your goodness unto us. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness, Lord, your grace. Thank you for keeping us, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, you've been good to us, and we just thank you before. Lord, we're nothing without you. We can't do anything without you. But we need you every day. Now, Lord, bless us. Oh, God, as we come in here, Lord, we're, we're praising you on our mind, worshiping you on our, in our, on our mind and in our heart. Lord. We pray that you would bless us. Lord, we pray that everything we say, everything we do, will be acceptable yes, in your sight. Yes. Now, that's all the one that's listening. Thank you, Lord. All the one that's going to be doing us, everyone that's supporting this ministry. Lord, and also, God, please, please, please speak to us today. We want to hear your voice. Speak to us, we pray. And we thank you for all things. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Amen. amen. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he keeps working.
chapter number 34. Psalm chapter number 34. If you're by, I'm going to read a scripture. Uh, this is our common practice as we come before the Lord. Listen, you don't just come before the Lord any kind of way. It's a way you ought to come before God. And it's a way before you ought to come into His presence. Whenever you come before Him, go ahead and open your mouth and say, Lord, I bless you. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I honor you and I thank you. Go ahead and just open your mouth and start giving Him some thanks. Yes, yes. Uh, just go ahead and open your mouth and you have a song. Lord. If you can find a song, go ahead and open your mouth and sing whatever song you can unto the Lord. Just sing it as unto the Lord. This is, your, your voice may not sound good. And you may not get an Oscar for your voice. That's it doesn't right. matter. God just wants you to use what he's given you. Amen. Now just yeah. use your voice. Just use it. I'm talking about whenever you come before God's presence. Just, just come in and make sure you come in the right way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Lord have mercy. And then, go on and open up this scripture. Because he left his word on hand for us. So that we might know his word. Know his will. He left it on hand. Psalm chapter 34. Uh, the psalmist right here says, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her hope in the Lord. Come, shall hear the all and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. You may be seated. Certainly, we thank God for you. We thank God for all of the ones that are here. Many of you were out last week. Some of you were out the week before that. Right. Also, Brother John, <laughs> um, out a couple we weeks, but uh, I guess that just mean I miss you. That's um, right. I saw uh, Brother Purnell, he took a trip on last Amen. week. And I just thank you God Amen. for, for all these people, all of them. These are faithful people. I'm That's talking right. About because That's they, right. They, they're going to be here. Amen. If they are here, they're going to be here. And then we certainly got people that, 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 uh, that were here on last week or not here this week. But we thank God for it. I, I tell you every week, and I tell you this because I, I guess this is what the truth is. Uh, I just thank God that, that the Lord is here. Uh, maybe a lot of people that may be out and maybe doing right. whatever, but I just That's thank right. God That's that right. the Lord right. has such good to meet us here. He has been good to meet us here. And we certainly thank God for that now the musician is on the way. Alyssa's here, we thank God for her, but, but the other musicians are on the way. Uh, some things come up. Things will come up from time Amen. to time. So no, no issue with that. But Sister Monica is going to come now. Here's a few songs, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to move forward from there. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you.
young people to, to be a part and come to be a part of the ministry here. We encourage you to do that. And listen, on this Sunday, uh, uh, just, just, just you had made it, you had noticed, it's a lot of children that are in our midst today. Yeah. <laughs> we thank the Lord for this is certainly something that uh, Sister Brenda brought to mind. She said, that's I would love to work with this particular project. And I, listen, anybody come to me with, with something that, that God that, that, that looks like they, 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 can, they can help more than her, I tell them to go ahead and, and I give them my blessing. Amen. Certainly, I gave her my blessing to move forward, and she has been working, I thank the Lord for putting that fire under her right. to do this. But this is an initiative she has started, but it's certainly something that the church is doing. This is not a friend of small project. This is a church initiative. This is something that I have a strong church to do. This is something that we are supporting. So it's something that we're doing. We certainly thank you and, and we thank all of you for, for being a part of it and continue to do it. Listen, if you know someone that uh, if you want to get online, you want to get part of the online uh, Sunday school, we have we have the ability to send you the link the communication that you need to be able to get online. We each Sunday, someone is online teaching. Mac mainly, Minister Patricia Lewis is there. She is teaching every Sunday online via our Zoom account. So if you want to be a part of our Zoom community and Zoom online Sunday school, you are not able to get here during the, 11, during the 10 o'clock time. If you want to listen to it in your car if you're coming or, or, li or listen to it at your home while you're getting ready, you can still uh, be a part of our Zoom and, and Sunday school community by just tuning in to our own lines. It's online every Sunday at the starting at 10 o'clock. And certainly, we are having Sunday school in our building. I'm, I'm talking about Sunday school this morning because I was, I'm telling you, I was elated to see that, that, that we had more than just one class this morning. Amen. We had, we had another youth, a young youth class that we've had. And, and I'm telling you, uh, you, you may not see what I see, but the Lord is going to bless the steel. He's, he's, he's adding to our ranks. God is adding to us. And he's doing that at this particular moment. And certainly, and we're happy about it. I'm certainly, I, I, like I said this morning, it's, it, it, it's the Lord doing this in tomorrow's in our eyes. And I, I, certainly, this is the work of the Lord. But God is the one that's doing it. So we're so happy about that. Listen, for those that, 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 that uh, we're going to have an offering. For those that have an offering, if you have an offering, go ahead and get your offering to God. Go ahead and get your offering together. The deacons are going to come. Uh, the deacon, um, the deacon, Owen, looks like he's coming. The deacon, all of us coming. I think the Lord has been me and working. They are working. They are part of, 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 of the work that we're going on. They are an extension of the ministry. The deacons are an extension of the ministry. They help the they help pastor do some things that, that need to be done. So I think God will lead me. Listen, as, as God continues to, to add to our ranks, and I thank him for it, you can begin your offering together. Some of you give online. Thank you for your online giving. If you need assistance with online giving, we'll be able to we have someone available to assist you with that. If you need assistance with that, we want to get that set up to you give online to assist you with that. <clears throat> but as the Lord is continuing, to bless us, and he's continued to add to our ranks. Uh, it's, it's important to, to, that we understand some things and, 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 and let me say some things that that's going to be important for us. As far as seeding is concerned, as far as seeding is concerned, seeding is the first come, first served basis. Amen. That means that seed you're sitting in, someone else can be sitting in that seat if they get to it for you. Amen. Amen. And don't worry about telling them to move. Because if you want to be in that seat, you should have got there first. Amen. So seating is on the first come, first serve basis. If you lack your seat, well come on early and stake out your, your place. <laughs> stake it out. That's going to be your spot. You know where that where it's going to be because you're going to have your stuff right there. And that's not the problem with that. But at the same point, I, I just want to make sure that we, with that, that we understand that, you know, you don't, you don't, I don't have a seat. 
In fact, I'm the only one that really got a seat in here that, that's designated for me. Amen. Amen. I'm going to sit in the next seat. Don't, so don't worry about sitting in the next seat. <laughs> that's how I invite you to sit there. Don't worry about sitting in there. But every other seat is open. Amen. It's open. Giving, regarding giving. Let me speak to you just about giving. We're giving in the process of giving right now. Giving is a personal matter. Giving, if you give your offering, but your giving, whatever you give, is not discussed by our staff. We've got finance people that take care and that take care of things, but your giving is personal. We do not go out and discuss your giving. No, if you give it, thank the Lord. If you don't give it, thank the Lord. That's your business. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to, we get to make that decision ourselves. I hope that you will feel comfortable. I, I'm telling you these things because I want us to feel comfortable with what we're doing here. There's some things that have to be put in order. They have to establish some order. Uh, as, as, you, as you get more people, you have to establish certain order. So, so everybody can kind of be on the same page regarding forgiving is a personal decision. We thank you for being for being great givers. Listen, this church, you all are some wonderful givers. And, and, and should be applauded for your giving because Amen. you are you believe in giving. Some of you pay your time religiously. Amen. I didn't say all of you, I said some of y'all. <laughs> pay your time religiously. You're gonna pay your time. God can give you increase, you're gonna pay your time. And I thank you for that. I pre I appreciate it. God's gonna bless you. And in fact, I already know something. God's already blessing you because of it. Yes, he has. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter whether or not you're able to count your blessing, whether you're able to see it and, and put two and two together, that because I gave this, God is the one that opened this other door for me. It's sometimes it's just a matter of being put some things together. But that is part of it. Listen, whenever I guess come, I'm, I'm like I'm putting some housekeeping rules in order this morning. Whenever I guess come, we want to treat them as love and kindness. Love and kindness. Make sure you treat all guests with respect, love, and kindness. Amen. Everybody, everyone. That, Amen. that is the part of what you're all doing. Amen. Let's go in your parking outside before we get our new parking lot. We got a new we got a parking lot project coming yes, going on. And and we're raising money for our parking lot project. And thank you for getting on board. Many of you have already started giving. You've already started giving to this parking lot project, and thank you for getting on board. By this time next year, I told you, uh, we're going to have a paid parking lot out there. It's going to be paid, and they're going to be striped uh, for, 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 for parking and out, out front in, in this particular church. It's gonna, that's what's going to happen amen, out there. It's going to happen because amen. we'll continue to do and continue to give. But as far as parking spaces are concerned, there are no assigned parking spaces. It's, it's, it's two groups that can park in certain places. That's handicapped and the pastor is the only one that got a spot out there. If you're handicapped, we, we're making room for it. If you're the pastor, we got a spot for it. Everybody else, first come. First serve. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. Yeah, right. You have your offering. Get your offering together. Get your offering. 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 Uh, we, we decided to, uh, to to try to limit limit the the exposure and people are all people kind of walking around and moving around a lot. You know, and our building is uh, you know it's it's adequate, but it's it's not so large that you you wouldn't run into people get really close. close. So so we, we we started just allowing the deacons to come around and receive your offering. Of course, that's for the one that bring your offering. For the ones that are here electronically, thank you. Thank you for giving your, your electronic offering. Uh, again, I'm going to say this again. Whenever you give your offering, whenever you bring your offering and you give your offering, what you are attempting to do is to honor the Lord with what he has given you. Right. You are trying to honor God with the Lord. And some of it, just some of it, he's doing all of it. Just some of what he has given you, you are honoring God with that. 
And listen, whenever you give it, when we when we get it, what we try to do our very best is to honor the Lord with how we use those dollars, okay? We do our very best to go before God in prayer on how we should use those things and what projects and what things we ought to be going for those dollars. Pray with us right now. Pray with us right now. You've already given. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all of the ones that have given to them, all of the ones that have been a part of this. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless them, continue to help them, return it to them a hundredfold, we pray. We love you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Sister Monica, if you come back and let us sing one little song, and then we're going to have them, we're gonna have some other, you have some announcements? You have to announce them together? Okay. In fact, uh, in fact, why don't you come with your announcement, and then Sister Monica is going to sing, and, 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 and then I'll come then. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
grabbed that from the narrator, uh, Dennis, his own our prayer desk. He added to our prayer desk the song that ought to be prayed for. And I'll just continue to ask the Lord to bless them on all of the ones that are on our prayer desk. Continue to pray for them that God have his way. They ought to bring the healing and the deliverance uh, that is necessary and needed for their life. And, and so just keep, continue to keep them these, these ones in prayer. In your Bible, St. John chapter number 15. St. John chapter number 15, verse 13 through 14. Mm, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Uh, St. John chapter number 15, verse 13 through 14 is what we're going to be reading. I'm also probably going to read a scripture in the book of James, chapter number 2, verse 23. Verse 13, the Bible says, This greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Pray with us right now. Lord, we ask you to bless us, bless this word, and bless all of us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. James chapter number 2 and verse 23. I'm going to read another verse. It says, And the scripture was fulfilled which said, Abraham believed God. And it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for this reading of the scripture. You may be seated. I'm going to speak to us uh, from a subject that says, God friended me. Thank you, Jesus. God friended me. <laughs> this topic. Course, I, I drew this topic from, from the experience so many of us have had and uh, had, had uh, with being during this Facebook time and Facebook age. Uh, most of us know something about friend and friend requests. Uh, as you know, uh, if you use Facebook, and if you don't, I'll talk to you in just a minute. Hold on. As you know, you can send a friend request to anyone who has a Facebook account, right? Anybody that has an account. And upon receipt of that uh, request, that person has to make a decision as to whether or not they are going to accept, decline, or simply ignore your friend request. I hope I didn't send my request to anybody that this ignored me. I don't know. It may have happened. It may have happened. It does happen. Uh, listen, if you got a Facebook account, I, I'm not sure how you manage your Facebook account. I remember, I remember when I first got uh, on Facebook, Deacon. I was, I, I was new to it, and I was kind of happy to be out there among the, all of that that nation of. Facebook users. I, I, I didn't use, I didn't have, I didn't have any friends out there, so I didn't use, so when I first got out there, I didn't use a lot of filters to determine who I was going to friend. Uh, I, if, if someone sent me a friend request, I just usually just went ahead and accepted the friend request. Uh, I don't know how you did do it. I'm just telling you the way I did mine when I first started out uh, with using Facebook. And I would just kind of accept any friend request. But lately, uh, I've become a little bit more selective uh, before accepting any and every request that's sent to me. Uh, I, I, I don't accept every request. Now, I found out something that, that, that uh, an old mother that was in the church back in Sugarlock, where I grew up in Holiness at, uh, she used to testify. She used to testify every time she got up to speak and testify. She would say, uh, "You can't take everybody to be your friend." <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so you, know, you just can't take everybody to be your friend. That was Mother Williams. Right. Uh, you may not have known her, but she was a uh, jewel. Um, that, that, that actually really and truly, my brothers and sisters, is a good lesson for so black we got young people here, that, a lot of young people here today because they need to hear this and knowing that are online need to hear it. That's actually a good lesson. Some of us and some of you have had a variety of experiences so far with friends and some of some good and some bad. But however, as you grow older and you get to going to college, you're going to the military, you're going to work, you're going to encounter some other people, some kind of other folks. Just remember, you, 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 can't, you, don't, you can't choose to hang out and, and, and with everybody. You just can't choose to make everybody your friend. That's right. I'm just trying to help you, my brothers and sisters. Um, it, it, it doesn't mean that you don't show yourself friendly. I'm not spitting that, but I'm just saying that you can't just say everybody is my friend. friend. I just can't make everybody my friend because uh, I thought everybody don't have the same thing on their mind that you Amen. have on your mind. Amen. Some there's some people out there that'll do you more harm than they'll do you good. That's right. That's right. I'm just trying to help you with this. Right. Your association with certain ones. I'm trying to help us today. I'm talking about God friend and me. Uh, but your association with some people uh, will really lead to your spiritual demise, yeah, and then sometimes yeah. even your natural demise. Right. Demise just simply mean death. Yes. Get killed, mess around with some of these folks. Uh, there's some strong devils out there. Yeah, right. uh, Lord have mercy. Some of them, and, and listen to this, some of them have no intention of changing. Right. They have no intention of changing. They don't feel God. What? And they don't feel man. Come on now. They have no intention of being nothing more right. than what they are right now. So right. You just can't hang out and, 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 and just allow yourself to be with every and anybody because some things are, some associations are good for you. Ah, uh, God, uh, somebody sent me a picture this week. It said, Bishop, uh, I went to work this morning and when I got to work, they were raising the LGBT flag at my work. They got the flag flying at my work now. He said, uh, they said, what do you think about that? I said, well, you know what? We can't stop them from doing what they do. That's right. You hear me? We can't stop them from doing what they do. And then we ought not to allow them to stop us from lifting up the name of Jesus. Amen. If they want to lift up and do what they do, that's, I, I can't stop them. That's right. You can't stop them. That's right. In fact, laws have been put in place to protect them. That's right. So they can do whatever they want to do. They can marry whoever they want to marry. Ah, Lord have mercy. I'm just telling you, I, you can't stop them. But, but we should allow them to stop us. Amen. Lord have mercy. Don't you ever quit lifting up the name of Jesus. Don't you ever quit testifying and, 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 and speaking of God's goodness. Don't you stop. Don't let nobody stop you. Ah, Lord have mercy. The Bible talks about, I'm talking about a lesson today that God friended me. God friended me. The Bible says in Amos chapter number 3, man, I thank the Lord for the babies. I thank the Lord for the babies. I just bless the Lord for them. Uh, suffer the children to call them, Jesus. That's right. That's right. And forbid them not. Amos chapter number three it says this two don't usually walk together unless they agree. In other words, when two people or two groups decide that they decide that they're going to be together must be some commonality between the two. There must be some shared goodwill that happens that's why we are going to be able to associate with something. Something that, that's shared among them as to why we want to continue our fellowship. Uh, when we read the scripture today, I'm getting to my lesson, I'm not going to be long, I promise you. The Lord seemingly does not simply accept all friends. Oh, Lord, I said, well, I thought the Lord, I thought the Lord, just, just 
based upon what we're reading here today, Jesus said that it's a group of people. The reason he don't accept our friend request is because it's a group of people out there that they'll draw not to you with their lips. Come on. But some of them, their heart ain't in the right place. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, I can say he's not friendly to them. Not that he, I'm not submitting that he don't bless them, just like he let the rain rain on you and them. God does that, and that's because that's who God is. But God seemingly is more selective in his and who he chooses to friend. Uh, John wrote it, he wrote it, he said, Ye are my friend. This is what Jesus said. He said, I'm writing what the Lord told me to write. He said, Jesus said, ye are my friend if. Ah, yeah. oh, Lord, have mercy if you do whatsoever I have commanded you. Uh, that, 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 those are the friends. That, that's the true friend of God. You want to know who the true friend of God is? It's the one that are willing to obey God. Uh, the, willing, the one that are willing to submit themselves to the commandments of God. What does the Lord require of me? Uh, whenever I find out that, because I want to be a friend of God, and I want God to be my friend, ah, uh, Lord have mercy, then I, I have to obey that. Jesus, Bible talks about in the book, chapter number two, that Jesus was going to run out of wine. Ah, uh, Lord have mercy, this is important. He said that they, 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 were out, they were out of line, so Mary speaks to some of the servants there, and she says something. She tells them, listen, go find Jesus. Go find Jesus. And, and, and what's so tell that he tells you to do? That's what you ought to do. Just do whatever you want to do. If we would just do that, yeah. our Lord have heard, we'll see something that we hadn't seen before. Uh, we'll see water turn into wine. We'll see despair Come on turn into hope. Come on now. Huh? We'll see those things that are wrong right. get right. Come on now. We'll see things that are going in the wrong direction right. turn right. around and go in yes. the right. Yes. Whenever we obey God and just do whatsoever. What's that? Come on now. What's the that he commanded us? Yeah. I'm talking today from a subject that says God friended me. Ah, oh, Lord, have mercy, he friended me. Jesus was called to that wedding, and I'm telling you, somebody wrote something regarding it. They said that we can't always do what Jesus did. Uh, we can't always do what Jesus did. Break it down, but sir. what we can do yeah. is what he told us to, to do. do. Yeah. That's right. Huh? Whatever he tells you to do, I'm telling you, you Come can on. do it. Huh? If God tells you you can do it, then I'm, I'm not, he's not asking you, can you do it or not? He's telling you that you can do it. Uh, if he tells you, Peter, you want to walk on the water, you want to meet me on the water? Well, I'm telling you, Peter, get out of the boat. Whatever the Lord tells you, you may not be able to do what God, all, everything that God did. But you can definitely do whatever God tells you you can do. Come on. Uh, if God tells you, you can have it, my brothers and sisters. Right. I just want you to know that you can have it. Right. Uh, if, if, if God says if God said that you can make it, Come on, man. Uh, I, I just want you to know, don't, don't you forget what you see around you. Come on, I'm telling you, you can make it. Yes. Uh, Lord, if God has to tell you that, listen, everything will be all right. Oh, uh, listen, listen, I don't care what happens now. I, I, got, I got a word from the Lord. Yeah. He's an offering yeah. to me. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Yeah. I don't care what all right looks like now. Yeah. I don't care what it feels like now. Oh, yeah. Lord, have mercy because God said That's right. That's right. It'll be all right. And whenever obedience finds itself in the midst of God and obeying God and listening to God and following God's command. And whenever obedience shows up and says, I'm going to follow God, whatever he leads me, I'm going to follow. Wherever he leads me, I'm telling you, you're getting ready to see water turn into wine. You're getting ready to see a miracle. You're getting ready to see something happen that normally would not be. Come on now. Ah, Lord, have mercy. And I'm telling you, some of us are in a predicament today uh, Lord, I don't know whether you're in the building or your own line. Some of you are in a predicament today.
today Amen. that you need to hear something from God. You need, and what you need to do is when you hear Him tell you and command you, then whatsoever He tells you to do, you need to do it. If you do it, God's going to get the glory out of your life. God is going to get the glory out of your life. I'm talking on a subject that says, God friended me. Uh, I'm so glad today to be able to confess something that uh, something I'm proud of. I'm proud of the fact that I'm a friend of God. Amen. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, well, if you ever, if you want to be a friend of God, then there's some requirement. God has some stipulations that we all must follow. We must follow some things that God, whatever He tells us to do, we have to be willing to do if we're going to be His friend. Paul in the book of Philippians, he wrote something. He wrote something. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. But he wrote something and he said something. He said, and I'm going to paraphrase. He said, there's a lot of things in my life that I've done and I've been a part of. And he said, there's a lot of experiences I've had in life. Some of them were good experiences. Uh, Lord, he said, I'm a Hebrew of the Hebrews. I'm of the tribe of Benjamin. He used to talk about that. He said, but then there's some things that have happened in my life that were bad. There were some, there were some terrible things that happened in my life. In fact, I persecuted the church. Uh, I was consenting to the death of some of the saints. He said, there were some things in my life that happened. There were a lot of things that happened in my life. He said, but, but, uh, but, but I found out something that, that I have decided that I'm going to count all of these things that have happened in my life. Whether they were good or whether they were bad, I'm going to count them lost because I want to know Christ. I want to know what does God require of me. I, the, 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 to know the excellency of God knowledge, just the excellency of knowing who God is. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I, I, I count everything that all of the experiences in life that I've had, Thank whether God. they were good or whether they were Come bad, on, I, I just count them as lost. Because it's not about me anymore. Right. It's about knowing who God is. Yes. I just want to know who He is. Yes. Uh, Lord, have mercy. And I'm telling you that if we're going to be a friend of God, it has to, it has to be some, something that's more about knowing who God is than, 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 than what we have accomplished and we have done in our lives. Listen, we thank God for for what he's done for us. Huh? I'm not saying that we don't thank God for what he has given, he's done in our life. God has allowed us to accomplish some things, to have some things. And we appreciate God for that and we honor God for that. Yes, yes. But at the end of the day, it's not about my degree that I have. That's right. It's not about the car I drive. Come on now. It's not about the house I live in or the job that I work in. Yes. It's more about Knowing who God is. That's right. I, I need to know who God is. I need to know who God is. God is wanting to friend us. Again, I mentioned when I get here. James chapter 2 and 23. We read the scripture. It says that the scripture was fulfilled, which said Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God and was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God in order for us to assume. That title I told you. We're going to assume the title of being a friend of God. I didn't say that God's going to be friendly to us. I said if we're going to be a friend of God, there's some requirements that have to take place. There's some things that, and, and it's amazing. You listen, it wasn't by accident that the Lord uses uh, that, that 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 James referred to Abraham uh, in this conversation when he's having it. It is not by accident that he brings up the name of Abraham. The reason Abraham assumes that title and have the title of being a friend of God is because of what Abraham believed and what Abraham was willing to do. Right. He was willing to do whatsoever the Lord Absolutely. commanded Come on, him to do. It wasn't any, if, if God, God came to it one day just to test him to see. He said, he came to him, Abraham, and said, Abraham, I see you where you are and you're doing really well. But what I want you to do is leave everything you, you got. I want you to leave your home. I want you to leave, if, if necessary, leave family members and kinfolk. If necessary, I want you to leave your church where you've been going to church. Just leave it. Uh-oh. And I want to take you to a place where I want you to go. Amen. Uh, I want you to go. I, it's a 
is the place I want you to go. Amen. The Bible submitted that Abraham did not begin a great debate with God and said, Lord, you understand, I really can't just up and leave. There's some things I need to do. The Bible said he got his family. He got the folks that were willing to go with him. Yes. He got up and left. Yes. And began walking after whatever the command that God had given him. He, I'm telling you, with obedience. With obedience. Uh, obedience will lead us to some place. Yes. Obeying, obeying God will lead us to something. It will lead us to the miracle that we can, that we can have. Abraham just got up and left God. God respected Abraham's faith. God respected what he had done. And I'm telling you that God will respect us when we are willing to. And he'll call us friends. Yes, he will. Listen, when he send that, that invitation to you, he wants to be your friend. You have the same option that everybody else has a friend. You can accept, you can decline, or you can simply ignore but there's coming a day when we all have to answer to God, right? Because there's a day that's coming when we all are going to have to answer to what the best scripture says. There's a day that's coming where every day is going to have to die. Every tongue will confess uh, that Jesus is Lord. Gonna, it's going to happen. There's a day that's coming, a day of judgment that's coming. And I'm telling you what needs to happen on that day whenever I get to that place before our God and I'm saved. I need to have testimony yes. that I obeyed whatsoever he commanded me to do. I obeyed him. If he told me I had to repent, know what I did? I repented of my sin. If he told me, listen, you need to be baptized in Jesus' name. Say, well, you, I've been baptized one time, Lord. I got baptized one time. It was in May. I think it was in May. In Goldson, Mississippi, I got baptized. But when I heard the truth regarding the baptism, I realized I had been baptized right. You know what I did? I got baptized again. I said, take me to the water. I need to be baptized again. If God speaks and says of us that we need the Holy Ghost, we need, and I've been talking about that but regarding Pentecost and our Bible classes, I'm telling you, you must have the Holy Ghost. Must have it. Speaking in tongues that the Spirit of God give us. Must have it. If God said this is what you must have. Because except a man be born again, he can't get in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. If that's what he said, if I'm, if I'm going to be a friend of God, I have to be willing to do whatsoever he mm -hmm. commands me. Amen. Stand with me right now. Amen. Amen. Stand with me right now. It's some more to this conversation, but that's enough. It's a lot more to this conversation, but that's enough. But God, friend, thanks. He came after me and said, I want to be your friend. It's the same situation today, my brothers and sisters. God is after someone. He's trying to be saying, I want to be your friend. But if I want to be a friend of God, God don't don't just accept friends or uh, just like I did, just anybody that sent me a request. He selects who he's going to be friend. He says, if you're going to be a friend of God, then you have to be willing to do whatsoever he commands you to do. Mary said, whatsoever he tells you to do, you ought to do. Because did you obey God? Yes. Uh, Lord have mercy, God's about to do something for you. Yes. He's about to do that miracle that you need in your life. I'm telling you, need it. a miracle is needed. And unless God does the miracle, unless the God does the miracle in your life, unless he changes you from an old man to a new man, unless he changes you from an old creature to a new creature, Unless that happens, then you really don't get to be a friend of God. But God has come today because he wants to change someone. 
He sent him with invitation. He said, I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend. In fact, I died so I could be your friend. I gave myself prayer. Love had no man that did this. That a man would lay down his life for a friend. I said, I want to be your friend. And I've shown you the depth and the, the level that I'm wishing to go to and will go to in order to be your friend. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters. Ah, Lord, have mercy. If God is willing to do all what he was willing to do for us, take off his robe of royalty and come as someone in poverty yes. in order to be able to to give me an offer, give us an opportunity for salvation. If he's willing to do that for me, then I ought to be willing to do whatsoever he command me. Ah, Lord, have mercy whatsoever he command me. I'm going to pray for you right now. I'm going to pray for you right now. Afterward, if someone should need some assistance at the altar, you ready to be a friend of God and come to God has called you to do and what God is asking of you to do. Then I want you to come. Join me in prayer. Lord, we love you today. Lord, we just thank you for being our Lord. Thank you for being our Savior. Thank you for all of these that have come, that are in your presence today, Lord. Our Lord. And I just thank you for allowing us to come into your presence. I just honor you for allowing us just to be in your presence, God. To hear your voice. Lord, as you spoke to us, thank you for speaking to us. We need to hear you, Lord. We need to hear you. Lord, we want to be a friend. We want to be a friend. Now, bless every one of us. Oh, Lord, regardless, whatever place we're in in life, whether we're in a place where we obey your command or not, bless every one of us. Help us, Lord. Deliver us. Help us to be with your calling, Lord. Save us, God. Do it for your name's sake. We love you for all things. Jesus' name. Amen. Oh God.
will not have Bible class online at 7 o'clock. There will be no Bible class by this us online uh, this week. Uh, go, go, go out there to, to our, our council and be a part of that council. And listen, if you will, if you will, consider giving, consider being a part of the giving. Uh, our church, listen, our church always give and we give as a church. So our church is represented, but, but uh, and we're going to continue to do that. But, but if you want to give, uh, well, you may, may consider also giving to our council to continue to support uh, that body. Uh, June 27th, as you also heard, uh, this month, uh, which is uh, three weeks from now, three weeks, we'll be having a special service here. We'll have our regular service at 1130, but then we'll have a special service at 5 o'clock. My bishop will be here, Bishop Lee Burrow Horn, be here in the building with some of the saints from Sugarloaf. Uh, will be here wherever we look at, and, and, well, at church is concerning, and they'll be here and we'll be a part of that meeting. So make plans, make plans to be here. Uh, last year, last year we had a service, and uh, our bishop was here. We, many of us couldn't be here because of COVID. You know, we, didn't, we chose not to come because of COVID. Well, because many of us have gotten fully vaccinated by now, at least according to the statistics, at least half of us in here have gotten fully vaccinated. So that being the case, uh, the COVID should not be an issue when you're not being at the service on, on that Sunday. So look forward to seeing you then being a part of that uh, on, on this week. That's all I have. Sunday school is next Sunday. Listen, encourage someone to come. Encourage someone to be a part of our Sunday school. Right now, we're about to be dismissed. Pastor, uh, as far as the, uh, this event, Mr. Tennessee District Council, right. you don't have to try to find the site, but actually run it on our page. Okay. So I will send reminders. Uh, so if you all can just tune into our page, you should be able to see all of the services. Excellent, excellent. That's, that's wonderful. So uh, all of the, all of the, you don't have to go to Mr. Webb Tennessee District Council Facebook page. You can go to our Facebook page and you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see all the, the, the everything that's going on with our council this week. Everything that's going on, you'll be able to see it from our page. And if you're seeing you're so glad that, 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 that many of you have a safe a safe trip and that everything went well, you're back then back here for a while. And God bless you and continue to bless every one of you so that that the sister Ruby is here. Amen. Amen. Still calling the name, still thank the Lord for you. <laughs> we gave her the right hand of fellowship on last week, and uh, she is a member here. She's not just a visitor. Now, is that her, that's your son? Yeah. And the son may be visiting for right now. <laughs> so, I'm so glad. Thank you, sir, for being with us. I appreciate you coming to be with Mama. You're fun today. And, and, and enjoy Mama. Enjoy Mama. But listen, uh, we, we, we appreciate you for being here. All of the any other visitors that we have, especially our young people that came, uh, that, that are here, man, I'm so happy to see you all. Come next Sunday. Come next Sunday. We look forward to seeing you again. I'm praying for us right now. We're about to be in this. Lord, please ask you that you would be with us, Lord. Continue to be with us. As we're about to depart this place, God. But Lord, we don't ever want to depart your presence. Ask you to be with us, Lord. Continue to keep us, Lord. Under your blood. In your will, Lord. We love you for all you've done, and we thank you for all you're going to do. Everybody say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.